Let me make sure that's right. Okay. So, um, wow, this one is, is a little more, uh, a lot more special to me, um, because of who donated it. Um, uh, his name is, is, uh, Jordan Groves and, uh, we used to be really good friends and um, I kind of pulled a tool maneuver. Um, long story short, like their family took me on a vacation to Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao. Well, the ABC islands, right? Aruba, Aruba Curacao and stuff. And uh, long story short, on the way back, we ended up in Miami, but I got through customs and they didn't, and I got on the plane and flew home and I can completely see why like they just completely just lost it and did not want anything to do with with me anymore because you know they did so much nice stuff for me um, took me on this beautiful dream vacation that I didn't have to pay anything for and then while they're stuck in Miami overnight I'm enjoying myself back in Southern California or at least that's their perception is what I'm assuming um, and you know, like, honestly, how dare I do that? So, um, and they are absolutely right. And I, 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 I can't, I can't apologize more. I can't apologize more. I wish, I, I really wish Jordan that you could really, uh, um, really accept my amends, your whole family, because I know I really pissed all of you off and that, that was not my intent. At that moment in time, I was so selfish, dude. I was being very selfish. Um, I, I mean, there's, there's just no, I'm not going to use any excuses anymore. But um, the fact that you reached out and sent me $100 on Venmo, bro, come on, man. Like, guys, he sent me 100 bucks because he's enjoying what we're doing. <sighs> Excuse me. Pardon me. What we're doing for this YouTube channel or on this YouTube channel. And, uh, that means a lot to me. I have the hiccups for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but Jordan, I'm, uh, you know what, dude, like, I'd love to have you back in my life, bro. You, your sister, your dad, um, you know, all the friends that you introduced me to, like, like that was a big part of my life. And, um, when that all got ripped away from me because of my actions, um, it, it devastated me for years and years. It, it, it was, it was bad. It was bad. I think that's what got me, um, that's what created my alcoholism being really bad because when we were hanging out, you remember I, I, you know, I would drink with you guys, but I wasn't much of a drinker. You know, I, I, you know, when we'd be up here in, in big bear having fun at your house on Cove street, um, you know, like it, it would just, I, I, I mean, it wasn't about the beer for me or, or drinking, but after this whole situation happened and and uh our, our relationship our friendship ended um that dude that was devastating for me and 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 my whole world turned upside down because of that so anyway thank you for reaching out i appreciate it um it means a lot to me dude i love you a lot and uh you know uh i still got that perfume <laughs> oh you got that perfume and you know i'm still doing the double chase all the time <laughs> so i mean uh it's an inside thing, guys, between Jordan and I. Uh, I love you, dude. Thank you again. And say hi to Whitney for me. Say hi to your dad for me. Say hi to your mom for me. Um, I love you guys a lot. I miss you tremendously. And thanks again for the $100, dude. That's uh, that's, that's incredible. Thank you. Um, thank you. I really appreciate it. It shows me that maybe I might be forgiven a little bit. And uh, you know what? Baby steps. I'm, I'm good with that. Anyway, I love you, dude. Hit me up whenever you're in Big Bear. I'd love to see you. Um, uh, I'd love to see you. I wouldn't be surprised if you have a motorcycle. I'd love to go for a ride with you. Um, it, uh, it'd be an honor to see you again. And it'd be an honor to uh, redeem myself with you and your family. Uh, guys, this was back in like 2001. Two, no, 2002. This was right after, this was like a, like, well, like a, like a year after 9-11 they took us or his family took us to Aruba, Curacao, and just, it was just five star the whole way. Um, 
So anyway, thanks again, dude. And I, and I haven't seen him since. I saw him at a few Laker games. Saw Jordan at a, a few Laker games passing by and stuff, but he pr he probably still wanted to squish my head back then. So, um, yeah, I'm still lucky to have this head on my shoulders. Anyway, take care, JTG. JTG, what's up? Say hi to Shrodes and Mark and all of them, dude.